Okay, so this is the last video on uh, gram negative cave drawers, right? Thank you so much for sticking around. I'm sure you watched the first one, uh, Ash Pylori. Uh, the second one was uh, uh, Vibro Cholera. And now this last one is Campylobacter jejuni, right? Or C. jejuni. All right. So, uh, okay, so this is the basic classification. We talked about it several times, right? What's peculiar about uh, Campylobacter jejuni? It grows at 42 degrees Celsius, right? Okay, so uh, let's start with the general features, right? Uh, Campylobacter jejuni is a curved gram negative rod with a single flagellum, right, on the pole. Right, single on each pole. You can see a flagellum here on this pole, and then you can see another one on this pole. Right, uh, sometimes it's only one, you need to be careful. But I just found this picture on the internet showing the two flagella, two flagella because flagellum is one, flagella is plural. Okay, the reservoir is uh, like it's zoonotic, it's a zoonotic uh, bacteria. Right, so the reservoirs are zoonotic wild and domestic animals and poultry. Poultry, uh, you need to pay attention. This one is uh, the most common. What about transmission? Firstly, uncooked meat, especially poultry. One more time. Uh, we can get it uh, through uh, ingestion of unpasteurized milk. Uh, and like other bacteria which we talked about, like cholera, it's fecal oral, via fecal oral root. What about metabolism of this bacteria? It's macroaerophilic, it's oxidase positive, and its optimum temperature is 42 degrees Celsius. Uh, what are the virulent factors in this bacteria in Campylobacter jejuni? Because it's motile, so the first one is obviously the H antigen, right? Unlike cholera, this bacteria, Campylobacter jejuni, is actually invasive. It gets inside the what the mucosa, right? Right. So it's invasive. Uh, so how do you remember this bacteria? We can say camping bacteria in the jejunum with nothing better to do than to cause diarrhea. Okay, camping bacteria in the jejunum with nothing better to do than cause diarrhea, right? So it's just a way to remember. Campylobacter, camp, camp. Okay, All right. So now let's talk about the toxins, clinical features and treatment. All right, the toxins, there are two toxins found in uh, Campylobacter jejuni. Right, the first one is an enterotoxin. Another one is a uh, cytotoxin, right? I said there are two, one more time, an enterotoxin and a cytotoxin. The enterotoxin is similar to cholera toxin and the labiotoxin of the E. coli, right? So it is that same mechanism. Uh, then the cytotoxin, this one, a cytotoxin, it destroys the mucosal cells. It destroys the mucosal cells. Right, that's why it's invasive. What about the clinical features? The illness begins with an uh, prodromal uh, period, prodrome of fever and headache, followed after half a day by abdominal cramps. Uh, there is... Right, this is very important. This kind of diarrhea, because this bacteria, I said, is invasive, right? So it, it causes a secretory or blood diarrhea, right? Secretory or blood diarrhea, right? Uh, what are the common methods of treatment? Uh, so we use uh, fluoroquinolones and erythromycin, right? So these are the common uh, drugs. So to conclude this video, we will talk about uh, diagnosis of Campylobacter jejuni and uh, some miscellaneous points you need to know about uh, this bacteria. Right, for diagnosis, firstly, microscopic examination. 
Right, so microscopic exam of stools reveals motile curved gram negative rods. We can also use culture method. We use selective media with antibiotics at 42 degrees Celsius. All right, so what else do you need to know about Campylobacter jejuni? Campylobacter jejuni. E-tech. E-tech is uh, enterotoxigenic E. coli. We will cover E. coli in the uh, coming videos. All right, so stay tuned. Uh, so, Campylobacter jejuni, E-tech, and the rotavirus. Rotavirus, we covered it. Uh, right, you can click the link on the top right corner and watch the rotavirus. We covered all, almost all the viruses, right? We have them in the playlist, right? So, these three, these three bugs, two bacteria and one virus, are the three most common cause of diarrhea in the world. Estimates are that Campylobacter jejuni cause up to 2 million cases of diarrhea a year in the United States alone. Right, So you see why uh, Campylobacter jejuni is very important. Right, so what did I say? The uh, important points. Uh, I told you that it is uh, like uh, this po polar flagella, like polar flagella on both ends. That's number one. It grows at 42 degrees Celsius. Um, what else? It's, it's invasive uh, and it causes secretory or blood diarrhea. Right, so those are the main things which you need to remember about this bacteria thank you so much if you like this video please make sure you subscribe click the notification bell so that you uh, get a notification whenever i upload a new video thank you so much thank you for watching thank you for learning with me until next time